So let's take a quick look at some of the new features within Video Studio Pro X6. Let's select a clip. Above the timeline now you have a track motion button. Clicking on the track motion button will allow you to track different objects within your video clip. In this case we could track the biker. Once you have done a tracker, or a multiple of trackers, you can attach graphics and titles to these trackers so a title would follow this biker down the sidewalk. Another area that we've added is when you use graphics, video clips, or titles, you can right click on them now and go to Customize Motion. In the Customize Motion UI, you'll notice there's a number of different places where you can change the position of the, the title, the size of the title, drop shadow, the opacity, and all of this is keyframable within this keyframer. So in this case, I made a keyframe at the beginning with the biking title rotated a little bit to the left and then animated it with another keyframe to the right. All of these animations can be applied to graphics, video clips, or titles, and can also be saved to the library. The Path Library is yet another new addition to Video Studio Pro X6. If you click on that, the basic movements that were supplied by Corel are available here in this library. And you can just take these animations and put them on top of a clip in this case. And you'll notice the clip is animated. As I showed you in the previous step, you can also have custom animations that you create on your own. In this case, I made this animation. And you'll notice now it moves like that title that I did earlier. The advantage of making a custom animation on an object and saving it is that you can use that animation in the future with other titles or other graphics. Another capability that was added in X6 is the subtitle editor. By clicking on the subtitle title editor on the timeline, you can go into your video clip and see the waveform as well as the video. You can scrub through your video, and you can add subtitles. In this case, if I manually add a subtitle, I'll say there's a mark in point for my title and a mark out point. You can do this a number of times throughout the video clip. You can change the in and out points just by dragging the orange markers. You'll notice also to the top right, the new subtitle has been added. You can just double click on that and add a subtitle. The subtitle will show up by default over top of the video. And as I scrub through, it will disappear when the orange markers have been overlapped. You can also use the quality of your recording, be it a narration or a concert of some sort. You can go in here and do a scan of your video clip to find all the different segments within your subtitle editing. Within the stop motion animation area, we've also added the ability to capture from DSLR cam cameras. These are can cameras from Canon uh, that allow you to connect through the USB and be able to do stop motion animation in very, very high resolution. We've also added variable speed. So if I click a clip here and I go into the video properties, you'll notice now that there's a variable speed button. When I click on variable speed, You'll notice now there's a keyframed interface, and this keyframed interface allows you to add keyframes and change the speed. So for instance, some of the effects you see in different music videos and in uh, different movies scan around and play around dynamically with the speed. In this case, you can do it very, very easily by adding keyframes and scrubbing through your video clip. You'll notice as, as I scrub through, the interpolating between keyframes happens in the bottom. Video Studio Pro X6 also supports output of Ultra HD 4K video as well as input of 32-bit per pixel QuickTime clips from stock, anim stock animation and stock footage companies like Digital Juice.